Hi everyone, it's Tammy, and I thought that I would show you guys how to make these really cute envelopes out of 12 by 12 paper. And I am making a bunch to give as a gift. I'm just going to bundle them together and give them as a gift. So I have one sheet of 12 by 12 that I just have in my paper stash. And I don't know about you guys, but I have a ton of paper stash. So this is a great way to help get rid of that. So you're going to want to score it. So pick the side that you want, like if you want the envelope to face like this, then you're going to want your, um, what am I trying to say? You want your one inches to be at the top and the bottom. So your one inches need to be at the top and the bottom, however you want your envelope. I'm going to actually do this one so that the forks and knives and spoons are going this way. So that means that I want this to be my top and bottom. So I'm going to do an inch on each on both the top and the bottom. I'm just scoring it. So I'm just going to put it in my scoreboard or score, however you want to use it. And score one inch on this side and then turn it around and do one inch on the other side. And then what you'll do is just turn it a quarter of a turn or, you know, so it's the other way. <laughs> And you're going to want to cut it at, or score it, don't cut it, at three inches on one side and three and a half inches on the other side. So I have four score lines. One, two, three, four. One inches, one inch, one inch, one inch, three inches, three and a half inches. And that is all the scoring you need. And then I'm going to cut it on this side just because I can see the score lines a lot better and hopefully you guys can too. You can use either side you want. It doesn't really matter when you're scoring it, but I like to uh, cut it on this side so, so I can see them easier. And then what you're gonna do is about, and you don't have to measure this, you can just totally eyeball it, about a centimeter above your score line, go in at an angle till you meet where the score lines meet. So you're gonna cut at a quarter of an inch, or sorry, well, about a quarter of an inch or about a centimeter up to that score line. So it's gonna be an angle cut. And then you're gonna do the same thing this way, an angle cut about a centimeter or a quarter of an inch in. And you're gonna do the same thing on this side. Quarter of an inch in, quarter of an inch in. And you're gonna be left with pieces that look like this. So that's like a little triangle and a little triangle. And these are just trash. You do not need those. And you wanna do those that to both sides. So I'm gonna go about a quarter of an inch or a centimeter in to the score line. Same with this one. Same with this one. and this one. So you wanna just cut off the four small rectangles that your scoring um, created. Now, once you've done that, you need to just go ahead and fold it on your score lines. And I have a bone folder that I'm going to use to burnish the edges. And then I like to look at it and think, okay, which side do I want to close? And it doesn't really matter on this one, but I'm gonna save this side. Well, they both eventually will close, but you're going to start with one of them closed. So you can already see the envelope forming. So now what I like to do is I like to make sure that my three and a half inch is folded in and my three inches on top of it. That leaves this little seam to be about in the middle. If you did it the other way, it would be a little further from the side. It doesn't matter. It's just aesthetics, whichever you prefer. And use your adhesive. I'm going to use my art glitter glue. You can use whatever you have or whatever you like. I would suggest something kind of strong. I'm gonna put it on the edge of this one on the right side and the edge of this side on the wrong side. And I'm just gonna do two little thin lines, I think. And then I will fold the small three inch flap over the larger three and a half inch flap. 
and then I'm going to glue the bottom and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take a small line along the edge of the right side of the paper and then a thin line along the edge of the wrong side of the paper. And then I'm just going to bring that up and there is our envelope. You can put whatever you want in there and then close it up and you can even send this in the mail if you put a sticker on it. You could use it to you know, store things or it could be a little gift. You could put a gift in there, whatever you want. And I know that the person that I'm giving these to is going to have a million uses for them. So I also got another piece that I've already scored that I can just show you guys again how to cut it and glue it because really that's the hardest part of this and this is such an easy project. You are really going to be able to do this and it will help get rid of your stash. It's a stash buster. So a quarter of an inch outside of the line to the line where they meet. A quarter of an inch outside of the line to the line. And if you cut a little bit off, don't worry about it. You're, you're, this is not anything that's rocket science. It's totally eyeballing. You're never going to be able to really tell unless you, you know, totally did, you know, an angle that was crazy. But if you stick to about a quarter of an inch, you're going to be fine. Even if it ends up being a little smaller or a little bigger, you just don't want it to be too big. So a quarter of an inch, centimeter. Those are good measurements to think about. And then I'm folding this one, and then I'm gonna fold this one. And then I like the big, the three and a half inch down, and I'm going to put glue on the right side of the three and a half inch side, and the wrong side of the three inch side. glue those together and then I'm going to look at it and decide which side I want to glue now so I'm gonna bring that one up and you can use your bone folder I didn't do that on this one but that's okay and I'm just putting glue on the right side and on the wrong side of the flap and then just bringing that up and that is as easy as it gets, guys. It's so easy. And I think these turn out so cute. And you can even use them as file folders or whatever you might like. You could even, if you wanted it to be an envelope this way, you could have folded it a different way. Or you could just close this one and then slid, slit this open. And then you'll have an envelope that opens this way. So, I mean, however you want to do it. I don't know what that is. But um, it's kind of, it's just fun. So I am going to gift these to my friend and I have picked out 10 different envelopes that I made um, just now. I mean, it didn't, these don't take any time at all, especially since it starts with a 12 by 12 and you don't have to cut it until you score it and you're just cutting a little bit. So these are all of the envelopes that I've made for my friend. Aren't they cute? And I'm going to pick out what I think will be her favorite, which is probably the mason jar one. I don't know. They're all really cute. But I'm going to put that one on the top. And then I have some twine, and I think that matches this rustic look. And I'm just going to take some of my twine... Yikes. Okay, cutting the piece off, and I'm just going to start it down here, go like this, fold it over, go like this, put one end through and then the other end through, and pull so that they're both underneath the ribbon that I just went perpendicular. And then I am just going to tie this loosely. 
And then I'm going to put a bow here. And I think I'll make a tag out of craft paper. And this is my gift. And isn't it fun? It's just 10 envelopes, which I know probably isn't much, but it didn't take anything to make. And to, to a crafty person or a person that, you know, likes to be organized or file a lot of things, you could even include a little list of things to, do, to use it for. Um, I would love, I mean, I would love to use these for mailing. I would love to use these for gift giving. Um, I could use these, you could even, I mean, you could cut it in half if you wanted to and use it as a smaller envelope. I mean, anything you want. I even like the idea of having it in a, a, um, a file and being able to put different things inside this way and maybe even put some tabs on it. I mean, whatever. It's, it's your heart's desire. You could do whatever you want with them. And I just think they're really cute. So I wanted to share it with you guys. I hope that you guys enjoy and I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you if you have some extra craft paper or 12 by 12 paper sitting around maybe consider making these thanks a lot guys have a great day bye bye